Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What did you experience in your past life? Messages for Virgos, please, Spirit. What did they experience in their past life? Okay. What did you experience in your past life? Ooh, knighthood. You are a knight. Whether you're male or female, you are a knight. You've been a, a male in your prior life or one of your prior lives. Doesn't matter what you are now. You are a father. Lessons and blessings. Monk or none, okay? Orphan. Health. Somebody was was a doctor or like a med um, a healer. Could I'm hearing maybe also a faith. Healer, communal, communal living, living, and we have male, female, okay, male, female. So this could have been a situation where um, you were probably gay back in, you know, in your prior life, or like a like a cross dresser would be today, okay. And we have here scribe or writer. It could have been a writer. Your overall energy for this reading is a baby. Uh, you probably uh, passed away as a child. Okay. So we're going to clarify knighthood for you. Spirituality or religion. Very, very religious in your prior life. So clarify the knighthood for Virgo in your prior life. What did you experience in your, in your prior life? Somebody was lived as a monk, okay, and like as a monk, kind of like the, the what I'm feeling now is um, lessons and blessings. Monk or none, male, female. You could have had a uh, could have been a monk uh, with this communal living card and lessons and blessings. Um, probably lived your life, you know. Um, I don't even want to say it. You know, uh, it's, you know how cycles repeat themselves. Uh, had an issue. You could have been an orphan living in a in communal living with this monk or nun, and experienced somebody touching you as a child. Same thing you deal you get your deal you same thing you dealt with as a child in this present life. Could have been a father, like father, whoever, whoever. Okay, or mother, whoever, whoever. Somebody touched you as a child back then. Okay, so we we could be talking about two uh, past lives being united. Okay, I'm seeing. Um, like this is what I'm, what I'm seeing here for this card. Literally, is what I'm seeing in my inside my head was the part in um, Sean Connery played in it. Uh, Richard Gere and I think Mary Elizabeth Master Antonio played in it, and what were they knighted? Um, Richard Gere in the, in this movie. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, being knighted here. Okay. But I'm also seeing energy of uh, you being touched as a child by a person of the claw. Okay. You got the health here. So I'm gonna clarify knighthood for you. First night. That's what it, that's what that movie was, first night. And we have nurturing. Okay, you're a very nurturing person. Um, that's probably why you were not you were knighted. Kind of like I'm also getting the energy of Sean Connery being uh, labeled or, or Sir Sean Connery or whatever that is, but yeah, being being notarized for something, being being awarded some this knighthood because of who you were in this life. Release, okay. We got and being activated here. It's like your knighthood was activated because of the very person of who you were, a highly skilled individual who cared about other people, who fought for their rights. I'm getting pickups about um, Braveheart. Kind of like, you know, fighting for other people, for freedom of other people, okay? Standing up for what you believe was right then like you're doing now, okay? And some of you need to start standing up more for yourself right now in this life. Okay, that's what you need to understand. Clarify, Father. It's like you you trusted somebody. Mm. You know when you are, you know were an orphan here. Okay. We 
We got strength. They have the power. You are the orphan, okay? And we have validity. So things were very volatile for you as a child, okay? You stay still, you know, stay still. Don't say this, don't say this. Don't. And it was very a volatile situation for you as a child, as an orphan, okay? But you had this powerful, powerful being here, father, so-and-so, mother, so-and-so. You know, they had the strength, they had the power. You have to do what the hell this person told you to do. And, you know, didn't want you to talk about it, didn't want you to bring it up. or Because that's, you know, they were the person in charge. They were the person in power, you know. So, wow, okay. Some of this this stuff is repeating itself because past childhood traumas and uh, different things like that are, are taking place in your life. Okay, so we're going to see what lessons and blessings were. We have this communal living, like I said, a situation where uh, we have this male and female energy, you know, could have been a cross trainer or um, or you hiding behind your, your cloth, hiding behind the fact that you are a monk or a nun, you know, living here uh, amongst your peers, you know, but, but probably behind your closed doors, they didn't know that you like to dress like the opposite sex or something like that or having that energy. Okay, not saying that you're doing that now. This is like your past life energy. Okay, I want to clarify this health card too. Clarify the health card. Could have been a doctor, um, a, a faith healer, or some sort of healer back in the day. And we have shape shifting. Okay, and we have grounding. You could have been some sort of uh, purification. In the bottom of the deck, we have blessings. Okay, so we have lessons and blessings here twice. For you here with this reading, but definitely you could have been some sort of healer. Even if you were uh, a medicine healer, you could have been reading people's palms or, or or tea tea leaf reader or something as, as something of that nature. Probably you having that same energy now. You're learning how. Well, I'm a, I'm a light worker now. It's like your history is repeating itself for you because this is your calling. Okay. Lessons and blessings. I just want to clarify. I, I see something too around maybe um, as a baby you were adopted, okay? Or um, like left on the steps of somebody, you were a blessing, a blessing and a lesson for someone else. It's, it's almost as if someone dropped you off at a church, you know, and you had the monks or the nuns raise you. This is a prior life, okay? Um, and you just grew up and lived your life. And some of you are probably, you know, being adopted or were adopted. And you probably still don't know who your birth family, who your birth family is. Clarify lessons and blessings. Nurturing. Mm, they left you. It's like you are a blessing to someone else. Um, you are a blessing to be someone else's child. Though someone else gave birth to you. Okay. Someone else gave birth to you. But you were put here to be someone else's child. Okay. I want to clarify communal living. Rebirth. Completion. And we have submerged. So you were put here, okay, in this communal living situation for a rebirth. To be like, to be reborn again, you're probably reborn, reborn Christian or, or something within the church because you were planted here. Okay, so you can grow stronger. And you completed your journey here. And two, if, if I don't know, it's like whoever dropped you off here, you know, like they, they have now where you can drop your child, your child off uh, at a... Um, a place, a safe place like a church or a, or a fire department or something. Same issue here. Someone put you here, uh, and this is where you completed your life circles. Maybe your life. Maybe some. Maybe you were planted here and also passed away, probably of malnutrition or or maybe you died. You know, and they dropped you off there because they couldn't afford to. Uh, they didn't know what happened to you while you died. Maybe it was a stillbirth or crib death or something back then because that wasn't heard of and they felt that they were going to be blamed for it so they put the body there at church you know um so you can complete your journey back to where you came you know so ugh. and you've been been reborn again as as an angel and and your life keeps repeat your life cycles keep repeating themselves 
Male, female. I'm going to clarify male, male, female here. Clarify. Past life messages for the earthly. Who were you in your past life? Vulnerability and submerged. Very being vulnerable of one. And we have perspective. And it's, it's instinctly you knew when you were when you were born, when you began to understand life more, you didn't know that you were male or female. Maybe you have both genitalia. Okay. You didn't realize uh that this is who you were born in. This is what you were born into, but instinctively you knew that you were different from other people. We have you very, very vulnerable, you know, and you probably kept it a secret. People didn't know that that you were bisexual or people didn't know that you had both genitalia or but it was your it was it was your perspective to keep this quiet, you know, but you knew that you were different. You knew that you were special. You knew that, that you were planted at a certain place in your life for a reason. Not saying that you're both ways. Not saying that you have both, you know, male and female genitalia, and genitalia but, you know, you probably have um, this in your family. As a matter of fact, um, um, something too about maybe having an extra little finger or an extra toe or something like that as well. Though I'm not saying it here, that's what I'm feeling, like an extra... Uh, middle, I'm sorry, an extra pinky finger or extra toe or something like that. Okay, and it runs through your family. Okay, I'm gonna clarify this scribe or writer. Scribe or writer. Maybe you are a writer, a very, very poetic person in a prior life. Okay, clarify scribe or writer for Virgos, please, spirit. And we have harmony, writing music as well. Wake up call. And we have perspective again. And we have generations. So you have this generational, this generational gift of being a scribe, writer, singer, doing anything create creative. You're probably very, very creative now. Okay. Very, very, and you create harmony by the words you speak and by the words you write and by the words you sing. Okay, there's something very, very poetic about who you are. Uh, very, very smart with, with the words. The way you put words together is a wake-up call to people. And I'm like, wow, I can really understand that. I can really, really dig the way this person puts this stuff together. How can you do that? Okay? That, because that's your gift. This is a generational thing for you. Okay? Something that generations upon generations that the gift that has always followed you. Because this is who you truly are. Okay? All right, Virgo. Let's get some more. Messages about your prior life. Virgo's prior life. What happened in their prior life or lives? Mother. Galactic. And we have health. Bottom of the deck, we have Atlantis. And we have wisdom, being very, very wise. A wise mother, uh, taking care of children. Male, female. Father. I think this is a single mother. He died of health reasons. From health reasons. Um, probably as, uh, you're probably familiar with uh, Atlantis. Or very, feel a close connection with Atlantis. I have vows, okay? Um... So you were you were a mother and a father, mother father, a relationship. Um, somebody maybe like I said was cross dressed, cross dressed, and the mother didn't know about it. Probably in the health field, or uh, maybe passed away um, on a train, a train accident or something, and you you ended up being a single parent. Okay. Biblical and uh, Greco Roman probably lived. Um, I almost hate to, well, I can't say I hate to almost say it, but, uh, probably walked with, walked with, walked with Jesus, okay? Um, being a part of the Roman soldiers and, um, um, fighting for a cause, you know, building things, probably had also, uh, energy around building the, um, what do you call them? The pyramids for some of you, okay? I see definitely a lot of wisdom around you. Something about, you know, the the fall, the rise and fall of the of of, 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 Atlant of Atlantis. 
ships may be passing away, you know, on a ship, okay, or having uh, or the transportation, you know, having something to do with the transportation industry back then, you know, um, I definitely see some energy around mother, father, one in, one in the same, we have your mother, we have father, so one of you or your, or, um, your parent or something like that had something to do with transgender. And you, of course, they didn't know about all of that back then, you know. Uh, following your vows, loving, but behind closed doors, you are another person, okay. We got the health card here, so definitely somebody probably passed away of some sort of accident, uh, some sort of, of ship sinking after uh, some sort of war or some kind of fight or having um, a derailment. Um, I'm actually seeing a, a plane, a plane possibly, but um, like a train falling into the water. You got the the bridge over water. I'm here now. Listen, listen. Bridge over trouble, trouble waters. Possibly a train falling into the the water or something like this. Is strange, you all. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, I've seen a lot of different things come through as far as your your ultimate who you were in this past life. Final card for Virgos. Their past life energy. Biblical. Okay. Biblical. One more call, please. Very, very, very biblical person, a believing person. And we have worry. You didn't have to worry back then. I'm learning that worry doesn't change anything because you're very, very sharp. And you, you had a, a belief in spirit and a higher energy the same way you do now. So there's no need for you to worry about anything. Don't carry worry from one past life into your current life. Okay? I hope this message resonates you all. Talk to you soon.